So I'm not a fan of 1.7 Minecraft because it actually runs really slowly compared to the others. If I'm going to be playing on an older version of Minecraft for mods, I want something that runs stable and fast, and I want it to run well enough that I never have to worry about it. 1.7 doesn't work like that. 1.7 makes me feel like I'm running the game at slow speed. It feels like there is... Well, I don't like running it where it's so slow that I can't possibly ever get it fast and I'm just noticing the whole game acting like a game rather than like a bunch of uh, things that all work together to make a whole world. I want to have my nice experience inside Minecraft and I want it to be an enjoyable one. And if the game runs too slowly, I don't even want to play it because it's like, I've seen other versions of Minecraft run so well that somebody did something terrible to it, and that's not any good. All your clay are belong to me. Okay, what should I build this building out of? I've got a couple of the supports up on here. I think a couple more over there. Should I make this wider? No, I think it'll be fine. We have the supports, we have the building itself, we got a bridge. Now we just need to build some kind of building on it. And I guess we should make it about that big. Well, maybe not quite that big. Maybe we'll leave a couple of blocks over here as a, a sort of uh, a bridge on the outside. We can put up some fences on it. Iron box. I got a pickaxe. Cool. What are you building? This is my outpost. I'm going to be building a place where I can build my crafting supplies and my storage area into it. And then I need to put my flag on top of it. And I'm really far away from wherever I'm supposed to be. And this looks like a decent place to get jungle wood. Player deaths? No, no, I didn't die over here. None of that happened. But seriously, I am going to probably come back here. At the very least, I'm going to put a dimensional door section up here, so I need to get one of those. Just get a gaming laptop. Uh -huh. I am doing this on a gaming laptop. Just get a gaming laptop does not fix the problem. So much wood. Okay, so we got jungle wood. And we're waiting for these to smelt. Should probably build more furnace eye. You guys all smelt kind of slow when you need mass amounts of objects. Let's see. Well, let's make some fences. Uh, that's a tool station. Yeah, I'm trying to make fences inside a place that can't possibly ever make fences. Ever. So that should go over well. Uh, any eye? You... Uh... <laughs> Here, let me just put that back up there and we'll... Spe there we go. Okay. Just gonna put up these fences over here. Oh, these don't match those. Great. Uh, let me pop this here and that there, and we'll use our lumber axe to pop the big area off. Okay, so no fences. We need barriers. That involves carpenter blocks. Oh, goody. So we need some sticks. More sticks. Then we need carpenter blocks. We need the barriers, right? Ladders, collapsible block, uh, that one. So for that, we need these. And we get some of those. Oh, wow, we need more sticks. There we go. Whole stacks of the thing. Whoops. Hmm. 
guess we could just have a railing in there. What do we want for the wood on this? Quick sand. <laughs> okay, sure. Wait, what? Oh, it makes me move slow. Oh, yeah. Put your hand on the railing because you're going to get super slow. Yeah, no. Let's take it out. If it just looked like that. Maybe I can use this like a base. So we put that in there. And we drop one at... No. Okay, so only one block in here. Possibly with some changes. So we can get like a seed and shove it in there. Give me seeds. I need regular old seeds. That's not a oh, great. There's so many seeds that can pop out of these. Dao is making fancy fences. <laughs> Didn't get any rig. Ah! Hi! Dang, Gollum. Drop some cobblestone. Well, it's a good thing I actually want cobblestone. Also, I should probably see about picking up these. There we go. More wood for me. I could put in a piece of jungle wood in here. here like this. No, I don't like that. What about this way? I do kind of like that. I put in a bunch of them. Nah. We get something else. Wait, I've already got it. Come to me. Sleep the night away. Quick's hand is the best wood. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Jungle saplings, cobblestone, anything else I can put in there? I could put in pretty much anything that I have on me. Let's see. I have netherrack. Gravel, I don't have enough of. Dead wood, I don't think I want to use either. Got fir wood planks. We got redwood wood. Redwood wood. <laughs> Let's see if redwood looks any good on here. Whoopsie. Ah. Too many bags. Too many things. Everybody get in here. Get in there. Okay. So we put it down in a couple of these. Start with the fur. It's too light. I think that one looks pretty good. Impio. Why does Pi have to do with anything? I don't understand. Oh, those are all finished. Uh, right. Netherrack. Oh, am I running out of Netherrack? Please tell me I have more Netherrack. Can't believe I actually want more Netherrack. Here we go. Got some coal ores and stuff. It's quicksand a tile entity. No, it is not a tile, nor is it something that exists out in the world. Minecraft doesn't have tiles, it has blocks. Why would you think it has tiles? Like, I could get a block that resembles a tile, so we can get actual tiling in here. But other than that... Tile entity would be something with multiple states. Are you talking about block logic things? Like block entities? You mean like furnaces? You're not talking about tile entities at all. You're talking about what already exists. The technical term for a ticking block is tile entity. No, the technical term is a block logic device or a block entity because we have blocks. The 
Minecraft Coders Pack has them called Tile Entities because when they pulled it apart, the game had tiles named blocks. See, this is a tile, that's a tile, that's a tile, but they called block block and then they decided to call the logic things behind it Tile Entity. It's like, why? Wouldn't we just want to call them Block Entity because they're blocks? Or, I mean, when I was making Tinkers, I called all of mine Block Logic because that made a whole lot more sense than Tile Entity, whatever the heck that meant. It's like, yay, we're going to have some name for it. Also, every block entity that exists in the game has a block in front of it, and each of those blocks can have their own behavior. Such as grass blocks spreading from place to place, or quicksand whenever you touch it slowing you down. It just has a slowness modifier on the block. It doesn't have something like a tile entity trying to slow it down. They used to be called tile entities. Well, they used to be called the wrong thing. As a modder, I can say that the crowdsource name on tile entity is completely wrong. Give me more redstone, or redwood. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Why are you making loud noises? There's some beeping in the background now. That's not me! Why are you trying to blow things up? It wasn't me, I swear. My hunger's a bit low. Great. Uh, how are we doing on food over here? As a non-modder, nothing makes sense anymore. Well... You want me to try to make sense of it? Okay. So here's how the code works for the game. Keep in mind that these, when they show up in the game, are just regular old blocks. So, there's no difference between a regular block and a block with some logic behind it that makes it do funny things. Other than, we've got some extra logic, and you're never going to see that because... Well, this is just a furnace. So, we have ourselves a block here. And we have ourselves... Uh, you make some... Oh, where do I start for this? I don't know, I'm gonna go make some bread out of my wheat. I'm gonna go cook some chocobo, not chocobo, I'm gonna cook some pork. This one's not going. Oh, hi. That one's... And just give me the pork. I'm gonna cook the pork, and I'm gonna eat the pork, and everything's gonna be porky. Unless you use NBT edit. Hey, look, you're actually getting into the code if you start messing around with named binary tags. So let's see. Code, code, code. It's been a while since I've been in Minecraft's code. Uh... So, Minecraft has itself some kind of base class. Let's call it a block. And from that block class, we have a bunch of things that build on top of them. Like, we have grass. Grass is a different kind of block, and logs have a different kind of renderer for the block. So we have something that is a block, like here's a block, and then we have something that makes it look pretty. And then sometimes we have something that makes the block do things behind the scenes. All of these work together to make a whole block inside the game. Yeah, sometimes we have fancy things for uh, a rendering that involves the logic behind the thing, like the chest. The chest has this fancy opening and closing animation because it has a logic behind the block, just like furnaces do. These actually do not. Even though this is an inventory and it's got all the inventory over here, you have 
everything involving repairs and a chest. It's got this fancy model. This is just a regular block when you look at it. And so is this. So you start with those pieces. Then you can extend each of them out into new things. Like if you want a bunch of saplings, you make a new renderer for it and you end up with some kind of billboard thing where you have a plus shape as your block. And it's quite a bit different from a normal block. Or if you want a fence, you have some fancy thing where you define the bounds on the fence. Like here is one part of the block, here's another part of the block. This one's got three parts on it. And you just go, yeah, we go that way, that way, and we put them together. And then if you're doing really fancy things, you've got a carpenter block and it's got a texture on it. Then you have a logic behind this one, just like the furnace is. And you go, hey, I want to shove this block in it. Well, now it's holding that block and it's doing something with the block inside it. Aren't you the creator of Iguana's Mods? Iguana Man? Yeah, Iguana Man created Iguana's Mods. Of course Iguana Man did. Imdaya created Tinkers, though. I mean, Imdaya's the one who's streaming. And... Well, I kind of need to say that because... I'm just gonna go over here and pretend that nothing ever happened. Anyone is free to steal as far as you're concerned. That doesn't mean it's stealing, it means it's up for free use. Okay, I'm gonna start making my building. I wanna make it on the center of that. Which I can't see very well anymore. Uh, oh great. It's right there. There we go. Uh, so, 17204. 17204. There we go. And then we have another one over here. Which I should be able to see if I put it over here. There we go. Put that over here. Then we'll have a third one over this way. But I need more bricks. Oh, hey, that one stopped. Do I have netherrack? I do have netherrack on me. Imdio created Iguana Man, so he deserves all the credit, really. Sure I did. Yeah, totally created Iguana Man. Iguana Man didn't create everything on his own, and had his own prerogative? Really? No, nothing at all. Seems like everything on Curse Forge is all rights reserved these days. Well, the default for Curse Forge is all rights reserved. So of course everything on it is going to be like that. Okay, so we're gonna make a building. It's gonna be about this big. It's kinda long. Maybe I should make it wider. One more over here. I don't know if I have enough netherrack for that. Nah, let's just go with this. So on the corner, I think we're going to put in a couple of these. We'll have it go up about four blocks to begin with. Maybe put a second story on it. So we'll start with that, and then every so often, let's say every, oh, I'm out of torches. I need torches. Is this a chocobo racing bridge? No, this is a, an outpost. I really wanted to build a bridge over here. There we go. One stack of torches. Let's see how many of these we have. So we start here. Two, three, four. Okay, so it's an odd number. So, between every one of these, we put one of these here. Oh, okay. Did we start over that? No, that's good. Okay, we go up. Yeah, there we go. Then we'll put a nice cross section in here. A 
we'll replicate this on the other side too. 